ओं वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिम प्रभ दुर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी सॉरी विद्यारंभम करश्या सिद्धिर्भवे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरसाक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम सहना सहनो भुन सह वीरवाह तेजस्वी तमस्तुमाषावह परमात्म नम अत पंचमोध्याय पंचमोध्याय श्रीभगवाच मुख्यंति जंतव प्रभु आत्मा कस्यचित पापम न आदत्ते पापम न आदत्ते सुकृतम सुकृत मीन पुण्य सो आत्मा डसंट पापम डसंट पुण्य डसंट एक्सेप्ट पुण्य डसंट एक्सेप्ट पाप पुण्य पाप विल बी देर ओनली व्हेन इट हैज कर्म न कर्तृत्व न कर्माणि लोकस्य सृजति प्रभु सेड देयरफॉर व्हेन कर्म इज नॉट देयर फॉर आत्मा हाउ कैन आत्मा हैव कर्म फल पुण्य पाप नास्ती but the person the jiva is subject to just janma marana because of karma pala punyam because agyanam because of agyanam takes him soul to be a karta therefore he becomes a therefore he sub is is uh, reaps the results of action the as also results of action in the form of papa and punya therefore becomes punyavan and papi abhimana that is therefore ajnanen avrutam gyanam the gyanam is clouded diluted it's clouded covered by ajnanam because of which jantavah jeevah manushyah mugyanti samsare mugyanti they are diluted in samsara taking one self to be karta therefore one is subject to samsara when kartrutvam is there then papa punya will be there संसार I have the abhimana. I have the abhimana with the shreedha mana sangata. So therefore, atma abhimana is not recognized. Shreedha abhimana is is there. Therefore, 
forgetting aham atma because of this avarna shakti aham atma is forgotten and there is adhyasa superimposition of anatma and atma there is a, a mix up of satyam and mithya therefore one takes one self to be this sharir mana sangata therefore aham aham so and so aham stulaha abhimana with the shariram aham aham is this atma but atma is aham etat shariram this shariram this body so there is a mix up atma how can this be sharira this is that is mix up that is why adhyasa ajnana ban adhyasa why do people think ajnanam there is nothing wrong with the performing action to invoke the grace of the lord it is all to be done as long as you don't understand atma once you have the knowledge of the true nature of atma such action is not necessary presently this knowledge is covered by ignorance ajnanena avrutam the very fact that you don't know atma is not a doer means there is ignorance agam atma na karta akarta it is not known therefore you are ignorant since knowledge gnanam can take place only only in your mind not knowing atma means that your mind is covered by ignorance that is agnana vritti the mind is like mind is covered by ignorance means agnana vritti is there in the mind and agnana vritti is aham that is atma and the atma anatma is adhyasta superimposed therefore only one take one, one takes one self to be this sharira mana sangata the body mind that is starting with body mind sense complex and extending to the external world mama it belongs to me that belongs to me he belongs to me she belongs to me all this the word gnanam here mean to take either the discriminative knowledge viveka gnanam we can take or we can take the knowledge of the atma either can be taken either to mean the discriminative knowledge of atma and anatma that is atma and atma viveka gnanam or the word or it can mean the mind gnanam can be mind gnanam ajnanena avartam gnanam can be because nyayate anena iti gnanam by that karma karana vitpati gnanam can mean the mind also the mind is covered by ajnanam knowledge if we take knowledge what knowledge here viveka gnanam viveka gnanam is clouded or gnanam can mean mind also karana vitpati gnanam ajnanena avrutam gnanam is covered by ajnanam mind is covered by ajnanam therefore gnanam can mean mind by karana vitpati we can take we can either say that the mind is covered by ignorance or we can say the discriminative knowledge that is atmanatma that viveka gnanam is covered by ignorance the idea being that knowledge is never created it is only covered that is important to be noted knowledge is never created shastram also doesn't produce any new knowledge it removes only the, the wrong knowledge the shastra as the shastra as its is its it is its area it is its uh, the shastra as its purpose or shastra as the as a utility of removing the the agnana not to produce new gnana no new knowledge is produced by the shastra shastram doesn't establish atma atma is satas the siddha it is siddha vishaya so atma is siddha vishaya therefore shastra doesn't produce such doesn't establish or produce knowledge of atma then why is it called a pramanam because it removes the agnanam and reveals by agnan nivrutti is gnana agnan nivrutti itself is gnanam agnana nivrutti is gnana so it doesn't produce new knowledge when it does the job of removing the agnana in that sense it is a pramanam only removes the agnana the shastra as a means as a means of knowledge it removes the agnana when agnana goes away the agnana which was covered reveals itself atma which is self revealing all the time that's why self revealing it cannot be really covered as though covered the as well cover is removed that is the 
job of the shastra so therefore knowledge is never created it is only covered avarna shakti of maya human beings are deluded because the discriminative knowledge of atma is covered by ignorance now what is the delusion moha what is the delusion the moha here i am the doer that is a that is a delusion akam karta i will do this i will get this result i will go to heaven i will accomplish this by doing that and so on all all which all of which which is because the knowledge is covered by ajnanam then the next shloka explains what happens when this ignorance is removed and the gyanam goes away then all the atma reveals itself gyane na to tad gyanam yesham nashitam atmanah gyane na to tad gyanam yesham nya ni yesham nashitam atmanah yesham aditya vajnanam prakashayati tatparam ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்ஜ்ஞானம்
it is not jnana abhava it is jnana virodhi ignorance because ignorance is opposed to knowledge and because it causes problems therefore only ignorance is a big thing it's a crucial issue this is an important point discussed in the shastra in the prakarna grantha vedanta sara and other text because of the inter uh, different interpretation there is a different philosophy jnana abhava we say we advaitins we say it is jnana virodhi ajnana means jnana virodhi because when jnana comes ajnana cannot exist it goes away both cannot exist and ajnana abhava cannot cause problem only bhava can cause problem only that which exists can really cause problem non existent thing cannot cause problem the thing which is non existent how can it be the source of problem therefore this bhava kinchit bhava in vedanta sara it is said kinchit bhava bhava roopam ajnana means kinchit bhava roopam is it really there we cannot say is it really not there that also we cannot say but it is mithya the wake of jnana goes away what is there we cannot say what is there we cannot say at the same time what is not there because pot holds water is it there or not there sat asadya manirvachaniyam it is anirvachaniya mithya it has pot has got vyavaharika utility we cannot say pot is not there because it holds water we cannot say pot is there but also we cannot say because pot is nothing but clay only in the nama roopa so therefore jnana bhava here it is it is therefore we cannot say it is jnana bhava it is virodha ignorance is opposed to knowledge and because it causes problem therefore it only it's a crucial issue and because it is opposed to knowledge ignorance has a certain state of existence as long as it lasts that's why certain kinchit bhava roopa masti however the wake of knowledge when the person wakes up to gyanam it cannot exist at all therefore ignorance can rule the roost only another rooster knowledge takes its place therefore when the vedanta dindima when the when the line of vedanta rows the all the foxes go they go to the holes so the ignorance cannot exist when does the ignorance go just as darkness is there until the light comes in so to the ignorance will be there until knowledge comes this is what bhagwan means what when he says ignorance of the self is destroyed by knowledge atma gyanam yanena tu tad gyanam nashitam atmanah nashitam ignorance as an existence baba therefore causes error and problems therefore adhyasa and therefore adhyasa karya that is samsara ignorance of the rope for example causes the error of a snake which causes fear so there is ignorance of the rope rope is is not known rajju is not known because rajju is rajju agnyanam is there rajju agnyanam causes sarpa gnanam not only that sarpa gnan method is the example the, the rope is not recognized in the place of rope something else is recognized for example snake the place of rope snake is projected snake or water or garland anything can be but snake we generally we take snake because snake causes fear samsara also fear samsara also in samsara only there is bhayam vaitam is there for bhayam therefore generally we give this drishtanta this example rope snake example so ignorance of the rope rope is not recognized that is ignorance of the rope it causes the error of a snake so sarpa is projected snake is projected on the rope the non existent snake is really non existent we cannot say really non existent is it existent that also we cannot say kinchit bhava bhava roopa par agnyani it is kinchit bhava roopa because the agnyani sees the snake therefore he is afraid he is fear whereas the agnyani knows it is not a snake it is just a rope therefore therefore how to <coughs> 
therefore how to make the agnani convince he has to see the rope as a stop but gnana has to take place gnana has only in the wake of only in the wake of only in the wake of rope knowledge sarpa gnanam goes away sarpa and rope cannot exist together they cannot be together sarpa is agnanam rope is gnanam rope gnanam when rope gnanam comes sarpa gnanam goes away we cannot be there rope gnanam sarpa gnanam together cannot be there and also it is it is not gnana abhava if if rope itself is not there rope itself is not there abhava then what causes fear for that person i think causes therefore it is not abhava rajju abhava or sarpa abhava sarpa not there non non existent stake cannot cause fear the existent stake only the existent stake but the snake is not really existent it is only a projection a notion that alone causes fear a non existent snake cannot cause us fear a kinchit a snake has got some existence relative existence that causes fear therefore it is not absence of snake it is kinchit bhavaha some relative existence of snake that is what we say agnanam is not abhava rupa it is kinchit bhavaha it is bhava rupam kinchit bhava rupam that is why in the wake of rope gnanams snake gnanam goes away when atma gnanam comes ana this ana this gnanam uh, goes away for kinchit bhava rupam agnanam as kinchit bhava rupam that is why pramanam that is why shastram gnanam it is another drishtanta also given in dream also another drishtanta dream in dream in dream there is dreamer dreamer is not aware of the waker the ignorance of the waker on the part of the dreamer the dreamer is not aware of the waker both cannot exist when waker is there is dreamer will not be there when dreamer is there waker cannot be there in the dream dreamer is there and there is ignorance of the waker now that causes problems like a millionaire dreaming that he is a beggar and vice versa both ways a beggar can dream to be a millionaire a millionaire can dream to be a beggar now this problem has to be solved only in the dream world is it possible to solve the dream world no if you think the problem to be solved in the dream world it is not possible that because dream the dream world for the dreamer it is the dream world is satyam he has to wake up so therefore similarly the problem in the waking world cannot be solved cannot be solved therefore it has to be solved only by knowing that reality of the waker that is atma atma is paramarthika that for paramarth therefore the the gnanam the knowledge of atma that that uh, destroys the reality given to the waker dreamer and sleeper the one who is the waker the one who is the waker the waker is not in the dreamer in the in the dream the dreamer is there the, the, the in the dreamer the dream dreamer is there waker is absent in the waker in the waking state waker is the dreamer is not there so the the dream state is pratibhavika waker is vyavaharika which is common therefore in the dream world it is the ignorance is subjective but in the waking world in the vyavahara the ignorance is common and therefore for the person really to wake up to the reality the knowledge of atma the paramarthika satya has to be has to be has to be taught has to be revealed that is the job of the shastra so the waker in the waking world thinks thinks himself to be the shariya mana sangata but he doesn't have that abhimana in the dream when he enters the dreamer he, he loses the he drops the, the notion of the shariya mana sangata similarly when he comes out from the dream the dream body is is resolved he drops the dream body 
is no more identified with the dream body therefore dream world doesn't bother him similarly the waking world doesn't bother him in the dream world but both are not bothered by the bothered for the person who is awake to the truth the paramarthika satyam that waker is atma atma is not the waker dreamer is atma but atma is not the dreamer sleeper is atma but atma is not the sleeper so agam atma i am the sakshi chaitanyam who is aware of all the three states but i am not any of them therefore therefore here one other thing is that as i told the dream problem can be solved only the dream avastha the dream problem can be solved in the dream in the dream but the reality of the dreamer the dream problem exists only in the dream so what the problem can be solved in the dream but the reality of the dreamer who is the reality of the dreamer when it is dismissed the dream problem itself is not there so where is the question of solving the dream problem when the person wakes up there is no dream and there is no dream problem similarly when the person wakes up to the truth there is no problem in the waking there is no waker problem there is no problem in the waking state there is a problem there is no problem there is no samsara even though the ishvara srishti the jagat is there the jagat is the jagat doesn't bind it is is self projection jeeva srishti the what we created by is uh, notion the uh, ignorance that alone binds a person that is that is agnanam that agnana vritti it is knocked by gnanam so therefore sesham agnane na tu etat agnanam nashitam agnanam nashitam gnane na agnanam nashitam because agnana is destroyed by gnanam therefore it shows it is gnana virodhi therefore it is gnana virodhi it is not abhava it is not abhava we cannot say abhava for the dreamer the dream world is real for the waker the waking world is real so therefore we cannot say it is abhava kinchit bhava asti for the dreamer the dream world exists bhava asti for the for the waker the waking world exists whereas for the one who is awake to the truth awake to the truth these are dismissed as mithya so therefore bhava rupa kinchit bhava rupa we cannot completely dismiss that it is non existent so non existence cannot cause any problem because yet nashitam destroyed ignorance is destroyed by what knowledge is his ignorance destroyed just as the ignorance of the pot can be destroyed only by the knowledge of the pot not by the knowledge of the cloth etc so to the knowledge of atma ignorance of the atma can be destroyed only by knowledge of the atma so therefore atmanah gnanena agnanam nashitam atma gnanam destroys the ignorance dharga to atma the important thing for whom is this ignorance of the self destroyed the knowledge that the self is brahma takes place in the minds of those who are ignorant bhagwan likens this knowledge to the sun as the sun rises darkness rolls away this tama tama tamaha and prakasha cannot coexist knowledge and agnanam ignorance cannot coexist not only does the sun causes darkness to roll away it also lights up everything there is the darkness doesn't go away inch by inch in one shot it goes away as sun rises in the eastern sky the darkness rolls away the objects that were previously not visible now come to be lighter so similarly like the sun surya with the self knowledge also destroys self ignorance once for all once for all it is destroyed and reveal the self ignorance and reveal the self as brahma tatparam prakashayati that which was not previously known 
So the analogy here between knowledge and the sun must be understood properly. Otherwise, this verse can be confusing. Yes. It is not that knowledge lights up the self. Important. The knowledge doesn't learn. Lights up the self. Like the Surya lights up the objects. Rather, knowledge destroys the ignorance you add about the self and reveals a fact that was unknown to you. Not completely unknown. That's a if it's completely unknown, it is complete ignorance, it is bliss. It is known at the same time, not known. Bane api abhanam. Known at the same time, not known. That is why, that is why uh, there is a room for committing a mistake. If the rope is known, there is no problem. If the rope is not known, complete darkness, then also it's not a problem. But if there is semi-darkness, rope is not known as a rope, then all the possibilities, to, then uh, we have all the possibilities to commit to a mistake, to project snake on the rope. So therefore, it is the fact that your Brahma is not known to you. The knowledge doesn't light up the self. The self itself is a light. Swayam Jyoti, it is. That's why we say it is Prakasha Rupaha. Swayam Prabha, Chitta, Swayam Prabha Iti. The knowledge destroys the ignorance and reveals the nature of the self. This knowledge is in the form of a jnana, the vritti, thoughts, vritti jnana. That is what the Shastra, Shastra generates vritti jnana. Vritti means thought. That, that the most the jnana vritti. The vritti is aham brahma asmi, that is the vritti. Not just the vritti, the vritti, the jnana, which is doubt-free jnana. Well, ascertained, assimilated jnana. This vritti takes place in the mind and this is what is meant by the knowledge that destroys the ignorance of the Atma, ignorance, the notion, the notional ignorance, what one has with regard to Atma, it is destroyed. Revealing the truth about the self being Brahma. Aham Brahma, it is the truth of all the truth, ultimate truth, Tattva, that one comes to recognize by this knowledge, born of the teaching of the Shastram. The next shloka Bhagavan describes, so we have come to recognize the fact that Atma is Brahma, that we will see tomorrow. Om Pur Namada Pur Namitam Pur Nar Pur Namada Chate Pur Nasya Pur Namada Yapur Nameva Vishishate Om Shantishan Tishantihi Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om Danyavadaham